In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create this super cute personalized mug using Posca pens. I'll also be showing you how you can make it permanent so it doesn't wash off. Before we dive into the tutorial, I'm just gonna take you through some of the tools and materials that we'll be using for this project. Of course, to create a personalized mug, we need a mug. I'm just using a simple white ceramic mug for this. And then to do the decorations, we're going to be using Posca pens. These are acrylic paint pens that are water-based. It means that they can write easily on ceramics and we can make them permanent by baking it in the oven afterward, which I'll be taking you through in this tutorial. I'm using a variety of really bright colors. I've gone for my brand colors. They're really pretty. I absolutely love them. And I've also got pens in a couple of different size nibs as well. I've then got some alcohol spray. This is just going to help clean the mug before we get started on the design and also help if we do any mistakes too. And then to the side, I also have a travel pillow. This is going to help keep the mug steady while we're doing the design. To transfer our design onto the mug, I'm going to show you a couple of different ways. So I've got a few different tools in front of me to show you that. The first is a set of pencils. So we've got a black wing pencil and also a Stabilo Aquarellable white pencil. The white one is best for if the mug is already colored and then the black one is good if the mug is white like today's tutorial. I also have my iPad so if you want to create your design digitally and then put it on the mug that is possible. To do that we'll be printing out the design and then using carbon tracing paper which I only discovered last year and it is amazing. So before we dive in and add a design with Posca pens, it's really helpful to add a template onto our mug first, just so we know where we're adding our design, what it's going to look like. And if we want to move anything about or things aren't quite fitting, then it's much easier to rub out the template than it is to get rid of the Posca pen. It is possible to wipe off the Posca pen if you do make a mistake as they are water-based. If it's been on there for a little while, then it will dry and make it a bit harder to get off, but it's still possible with some alcohol. I like to do the template just to see how the design will look before using Posca pens. Before we start creating our design, it's really important to make sure that the mug is clean. So I'm just going to spray it with a little bit of alcohol and I'm just gonna wipe it with a cloth. The alcohol will make sure that it's really clean, but it will also evaporate so that means that it will make sure the mug is nice and dry as well. So for the first method, you can use pencil. So I've got two different ones here. For this example, I'm going to be using the black wing pencil to try and for this example, I'm going to be using the black wing pencil to sketch out my design straight onto the mug. If your mug is already colored, then I really recommend using this pencil, which is the Stabilo Aquarellable pencil. This is a white pencil and it's kind of like a waxy chalk pencil in a way. So it will show up on different colors. Whichever pencil you use, this method is still going to be the same. So we're just going to be writing my name on this mug and then we're going to be adding some decorations afterwards. So all I'm going to do for the template is just the name. So I'm just going to go in and sketch this out. So I'm just going to do the monoline of the letters I'm not going to worry too much about adding the thick lines in at this stage. That's something we can do later. So I wanted to say Millie's T and I think I've started it too low down. Because if I add T in here, there's going to be a big space at the top and not much space at the bottom. So you can see that we've got a lot of space up here and not much space down there. That's totally fine. What I'm going to do just give it another spray of alcohol to give it a clean. The black wing does have a rub on the end, but I found that if I use this on the mug, then it actually leaves a mark. So that's why I'm just using alcohol and a cloth. So I'm just gonna hold the mug and rest my hand on the cushion just so I can easily get around the edges of the mug this time. Okay, so now I'm happy with that design. So you can see we've got Millie's here and then T underneath. It's time to go in with a Posca pen. 
So I'm going to do the actual letters in black and then I'm going to add lots of colourful dots all around with my brand colours. If you're using a brand new Posca pen, you will need to prep the pen before you use it. This one's already been prepped because we've got ink in the nib. If your nib is completely white, you do need to prep it, but that's super easy. All you need to do is give your pen a bit of a shake and then get some scrap paper and just press down on the paper with the nib until ink comes out of it. So now it's time to just simply go over the design. You can see that I'm taking my time and just like normal calligraphy, I'm lifting my pen off the mug after each stroke. And I'm also twisting the mug just to help me see it a little bit better. So I'm just going to leave this design as monoline because the pen is quite thick already. And all I do after this is add in lots of colorful dots with the other Posca pens. I do want to show you another method of getting the design onto the mug though. So we're going to wipe this clean, start again, and I'm gonna show you another method. If you do a mistake or you do just want to start again completely, then you can clean this off just by wiping it off with a cloth. If it's been on for a little while, you may just need to give it a little spray with alcohol and that will help get the paint off much easier. So you can see where it's starting to dry here, where it's just sat there for a little bit longer. As you can see, it's just like new again. For this next method, we're going to be creating the design digitally on an iPad using Procreate. We'll then be printing out the design and transferring it onto the mug. This method is really great if there's an existing design that you really like and you'd like to transfer it onto a mug. So if there is something that you've seen online that you'd like to add onto your mug, then you can do that. Obviously, that is for just personal use. If you're looking to sell mugs, then please create your own designs. I've created a PDF template for you to be able to transfer your design onto a mug. You can find a link below in the description where you can access that. So I've created an artboard in Procreate that is 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters. That's roughly the height of the mug and the width as well. I'm just using a monoline brush for this and we're just going to go in with the design. I'm just going to add some guides. So I've just gone to settings, canvas, drawing guide. So I can see that this is slightly off center so I can just move this over and that's the great thing about designing digitally is you can just shift things around a little bit better. Now I'm going to add in T. I feel like the T could shift over to the right a little bit but I'm also not sure about that crossbar on the T so I'm just going to undo that. And I'm just going to go to select up here and wrap that around and move this over. Okay, so I'm happy with that design now. You can see it's very similar to the freehand sketch that I did on the mug. But this time we've done it digitally so we can do little tweaks here and there and actually it can be a lot easier to design on a flat piece of paper. You could always do this method by designing on paper instead of digitally and then printing it out. That would work in the same way as well. So now I'm going to go and print this. I'm just going to be using my brother monotone laser printer. It doesn't need to be anything fancy at all as this is just a template to get it onto the mug. Okay, now I've got my design printed out. So that is roughly the size of the mug. That is looking pretty good. I'm very happy with that. I've also cut out a similar size piece of carbon tracing paper. Now this stuff is amazing. I discovered it last year when I had a job where I had to 
paint a logo onto some tiles and I needed to figure out how to transfer the design onto the tiles and I discovered this stuff. So it looks very much like tracing paper apart from the fact that it's black. On one side it's slightly shiny and then the other side is a bit more dull. If you place the shiny side down onto ceramic or tile, anything like that, and they get a pencil and draw onto the carbon tracing paper. It then transfers the design onto the mug. How cool is that? So this is really good if you're writing on like a white surface and you want to transfer a design onto it. It works in a similar way to uh, using like chalk on paper and transferring onto a chalkboard, but you've got special paper for it. And what's great about it is it can just easily wipe off as well. So what we're going to do is stick this carbon paper onto the mug and then I'm going to stick the design over the top and we're going to trace over the design. I'm just going to stick it down with some washi tape. This is my friend Karyography's washi tape. This bit doesn't need to be super neat and perfect because we've got quite a big surface area to work with. We just want to make sure it's nice and secure. Now we want to put the design on the mug and I do want to make sure that that is lined up so everything is straight. Okay, so I'm happy with how that's sitting on the mug. So now it's just time to trace over the design. Although we've got a template we're following, I'm still going to take my time and do each stroke individually. This just gives me a bit more control on a curved surface. I'm pressing relatively hard just to ensure that the design does transfer. Now I've traced over the design, it's time to see how well it's transferred onto the mug. So you can see now we've got a transfer design that we can go over the top with Posca pens. As I mentioned earlier, you don't have to do this digitally. You could actually sketch your design out on paper like this, which is a little bit easier than sketching it out onto the mug, and then you can transfer it on. Or if there is an existing design that you really like the look of or something that you created yourself previously and you want to transfer it onto the mug, then you can just print it out and use this transfer method. You can see that there are some areas where the carbon has traced onto the mug where I've just been rubbing down the washi tape. That is totally fine, we can rub it off later. Okay, so let's go in with our Posca pen now. Just like before, I'm just going to trace over the top in black. So you can see I haven't traced the design exactly. I've used it as more of a guide, but where my hands felt comfortable writing on the curved surface, I've just gone with that flow. Now I'm going to add some colorful dots into this. I'm trying not to put my dots too close to the edge at the lip where I will be drinking because I'm pretty sure that the Posca pens aren't actually food safe. So if you are decorating something like a ceramic plate, then please bear in mind that that will just be for decorative purposes. You won't be able to eat food off of it. You can see I've just done a tiny mistake here where it's not a dot, it's more of a line. So what I'm going to do is go in with this cotton bud. I'm just going to spray the end with alcohol and then we can go in with detail and wipe that off. So I just want to make sure that I'm not smudging any other part of the design. And I'm just going to go in with the cotton bud. And there you go, it's all gone. 
Okay, so now we've got our super cute design. So there's lots of colorful dots all the way around. And then on the front, it just says Millie's Tea. Before we bake this in the oven, we do need to give it a bit of a wipe because there is some carbon on here. And I'm not sure if that will fix once it gets baked. So what we're going to do is just let this dry completely. I'm going to leave it to dry overnight just to make sure that nothing is going to smudge when I use a cloth to wipe off the carbon tracing paper. Okay, so it's the next day and I've left all of this to dry out. So you can see if I just run my finger over it, it's not going to smudge. So to remove the carbon tracing paper, we just want to take a dry cloth, we don't want it to be wet, and we're just going to rub over where the carbon tracing paper has been left. So you can see it's coming off really easily, but it's not affecting the Posca pens, it's not smudging it at all. Okay, now we have wiped off all of that carbon tracing paper, it's time to pop it in the oven. Curing it in the oven is going to make it permanent. So if there are any tiny little details that you want to mend, now is the best time to do it. Remember you can get some alcohol and a cotton bud to adjust tiny details, or you can actually use a cloth, wipe it all off and start again. As it's dried overnight, it will take a little bit of time to rub off, but it will come off with some alcohol. We want to make this permanent though. So to do that, we need to cure it in the oven. So I'm going to pop it into a cold oven and set the temperature to 160 degrees Celsius and leave it in there for 45 minutes. Once it's been in there for 45 minutes, turn the oven off and leave the mug in there and let it cool down to room temperature. And then it's ready to use as a mug. The curing process is permanent, but I still recommend washing the mug by hand as over time it may come off in the dishwasher, depending on how intensive the setting for your dishwasher is. Okay, so now this has been in the oven and you can see that the ink, especially the black ink, has kind of died down a little bit in its pigmentation, but it's still really bold and beautiful. I absolutely love the design of this mug. The dots are a super easy idea and you can make your own by choosing your favourite colours. The personalisation makes it feel extra special and this would be a really gorgeous gift. Remember, if you're stuck for ideas on what to put on this mug or you're, or you're not that confident with calligraphy, then I, then I have popped a link in the description for a free printable download. If you create a mug or any sort of ceramics after watching this tutorial, I would absolutely love to see what you create. So if you share it over on Instagram, then be sure to tag me. It's just at link lettering. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you found it helpful. If you're looking for any other tutorials that you'd like me to do, then let me know in the comments below. And of course, if you have any questions too, pop them in the comments below as well. If you enjoyed this video and you found it super helpful, then please give it a massive thumbs up. And if you'd like to see some more tutorial videos from me, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys soon. Bye.